It's nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Ashley. Let me just take a seat right here. Right. Okay. So I'm Ashley, and I'm going to be your gynecologist today. And you want to tell me your name? All right. How do you spell that? Okay. So that's pretty interesting. Where are you from? Okay. Cool. I have some family over in that area. It's your first time visit um, with your gynecologist, and hopefully we can make this a routine thing. If not, then I do suggest that we get you referred to somebody else, just in case. Okay, so we'll get that all set up after your appointment. All right, and so um, just before we get started, do you have a referring physician or a primary care doctor? No? Okay. All right, we gotta get you set up with one of those as well. All right, and so... Um, Let's go ahead and kind of get to know each other a little bit. Uh, my name is Ashley. I've been a gynecologist for about 36 years, so it's been a while. Um, and um, here at um, Dive In um, um, Vaginal Health, um, we um, kind of go over your general health, your reproductive health, any questions that you have about birth control, contraception, anything like that. Okay. Great. And so what's the reason for your visit today? Okay, so it's your first time, so we definitely want to get you in and set up. Okay, so just another thing that I wanted to mention before we, um, before we move on to the health portion, I wanted to go over the fact that um, in terms of your, your period and kind of knowing like where you are during the month, I think there's this really cool way, a new innovative and very social media-esque way of um, tracking that for you. So this is a new app, it's called Clue, and I want to just show it to you really quick. So this is what it looks like. And it's spelled C-L-U-E, like the word Clue would be spelled. And so you want to go ahead and sign in. And uh, this is a, you create a profile for yourself. It's great because it is a free app, so you don't have to worry about um, any cost with it. It's available in both, you know, what do you have? An apple. Okay, great. So, um, it's available on your apple. It's available on an Android, so in, anybody can use it. It's also rated number one by doctors, so that's pretty cool. This is why I'm, uh, you know, telling you to get it, but, um, it's going to help you understand and track your menstrual cycle, so all those questions that you were having earlier, it's going to help you get through with that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in with my Facebook, actually, and I'll just show you how it works. This is really great. How would you like to use Clue? So we're going to track our health. Um, and then it's going to ask you a series of questions about your period. Um, it's going to ask you, no, I don't know. That's okay. Clue will use the global average of four days for now to experience PMS. You can answer all these questions. It's going to ask about your symptoms, like everything that um, you experience pre-menstrual cycle and then post-menstrual cycle and then as you're actually having. It. So it's really great because you can actually predict, like say your next month is coming up and you have a vacation or something like that, you can kind of know like how, um, how this is going to work for you, you know, how your body's actually going to be responsing, responding to um, your daily and, um, you know, monthly cycle. So it's great. It's cool because what it'll do is it'll, um, it'll kind of generate your like your days of your period, and then it goes to the days that you're not on your period, and then it goes to your most fertile days. So those are days that you either want to avoid because you don't want to get pregnant, or you want to keep track of because you are trying to get pregnant. So it's just really great. There's also a pill tracker on here, and the pill tracker is um, fantastic for somebody who is missing um, days on their period, or um, I'm sorry, on their, on their pills. So you forget to take one. How many am I supposed to take the next day? When should I take it? What can I expect? I use it every day. Um, it goes over your, you know, your pain levels, your, um, your emotions, like what you're feeling that day. So that way in the future, as you use this app for a couple of months, it gets a sense of who you are and what your body's doing. Just overall, man, it's just such a great app. And um, if you'd like to sign up for it, I can sign you up at the end of the the end of our appointment today. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and do that too. Okay. Okay. 
and do you have any problems today? Okay, so you've been experiencing a little bit of abdominal pain. How many days has this been going on? Okay, for about... Okay, that's a little bit, that's a little bit of a long time, so five days. We normally don't want it to go over about 48 hours, so we're definitely going to check in on that today. Alright, so it's for about five days ago. Okay, and so what does it feel like? Tell me about your symptoms. Okay, so headaches. Pain. Mm, where? Um, where exactly is the pain? Okay, let's look at this. Okay. Alright. How severe is the pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Being 10 being the most extreme. It's about a 5. And does anything make it better or worse? Alright. Just heat. Okay. Have you been taking any medications? Just Tylenol. Alright, and this is the previous problem with you. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we're gonna go over some of your history. Just typical of our first time visits. Alright. So are you pregnant or have you been pregnant in the past year? Okay. And um when was your last menstrual cycle? That's June twenty first. How long does that last? And how frequently do you have this? About every 25 days. Perfect. All right. Okay. Are you in any pain because of your period, do you think? Okay. Do you think that's what the abdominal pain is from? No. And, um, we're going to get into a little bit more um, of a um, intense topic because this is your first time. I want you to just be aware that I want you to be um, open and as honest as possible. Okay? Okay. So, are you currently sexually active? And, um, are you in a relationship? Are you in a monogamous relationship? Okay, and what's your partner's gender? Okay, how long have you guys known each other? This is your only partner, right? Perfect. And, um, approximately how many partners have you had? On birth control? No. Are you wanting to be on birth control? Okay. Very good. Have you used birth control before? Okay. First pap smear. Okay, so, so. have you um, ever been uh, tested for STDs? Okay, perfect. So we did some blood work and some urine so we'll get those results. We'll probably get the, the urine um, results in less than a day. And then your, um, your blood results will come in about uh, 72 hours. Okay. So let's just go over some medical history. And I want you to tell me if you've ever been diagnosed or treated for any of the following, okay? And just say yes or no. Heart disorder. Stomach, intestinal disorder, skin disorder. Okay, acne is that, but that's fine. I'll just put it on there just in case. Clotting disorder, eyes, psychiatric. Are you in a, on any depression meds? And what's that called? Okay. Um, any kidney disorders? Liver, 
orthopedic cholesterol neurological diabetes high blood pressure arthritis fibroids endometriosis cancer thyroid disorder lung disorder and anything else you think of okay great job you're doing really good so far all right so your surgical history um i want you to tell me if you've had any of these past surgeries have you had an appendectomy i don't think so i haven't seen any of your notes say any of this so i'm just going to kind of go over them and perfect okay so all right so i think that that's all i've got for you today in terms of our um, our questions that I wanted to have done with you, I'm just going to go over a little bit of your medical history. All right. So, are you currently worried about having any STDs? Okay. All right. And so, just a little recap. We are going to do a Pap smear, and so I want to kind of show you that's going to involve. So this right here is your uterus. It's going to be up a little bit further, further uh, towards the stomach, lower stomach area. And off of the uterus, we have the fallopian tubes right here. And then we have the ovaries right here. This is where all of your little eggs come out. Um, that would be where fertilization happens. But that's a whole other topic. Um, here's your cervix and your vagina. Whenever I am doing a pap smear today, I'm going to be going around the outer part of the vagina just to see if like, we have any um, irritation or any um, kind of redness or anything like that. And then I'm also going to be just going around here and I'm going to take a sample and... Yep, exactly. It's not going to be painful at all. And I will make sure um, that you are comfortable at all times so you don't have to worry. Alright. Have you had all of your vaccinations? Okay, perfect. You said you are experiencing cramps, or is it just abdominal pain? Okay, just abdominal pain, okay. Are you currently on any drugs or alcohol? Alright. Okay, is your diet pretty good? Make sure that you're eating a well-balanced diet. You exercise. Okay, in school. Good. Do you um, smoke at all? Perfect. No underage drinking. Okay. All right. And when you do have um, sex of any type, are you using protection other than the birth control? just want to let you know um, um, that so just in terms of STDs I think it's really important to understand that um, especially around your age um, one in four females has um, who have even had just one sexual partner in their life um, have an STD uh, so it's very important that you are safe when you are um, doing anything. Also, about 49% um, of STDs occur among young men, and about 51% occur among uh, women. Just know that whenever you're having sex with somebody, you're also having sex with the people that they've had previously. So you want to always be sure that both of you and your partner are um, taking care of yourselves and getting checked up frequently. Um, you need to be checked up at least um, once a year, but in terms of having multiple partners, if you're switching to a new partner, uh, you want to have um, you want to have your checkups more than that. Okay. Yep. And about fifty percent of um, teenagers um, have had that have had about three or more partners uh, have 
50% of them have an STD, so that's a pretty high number. Um, just for future reference, whenever you do get STD testing, um, it's a good idea to have your partner come in with you. If you're nervous or anything like that, we do it here, and I can always be in the room with you so that you're not too, um, uh, frightened or anything like that. Um, so only half of adults your age, actually between the ages of 18 and 44, only half of them have had STD testing, which is really kind of scary. So you definitely uh, want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, so enough about the lectures. Um, let's go ahead and get started on your um, pap smear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you disrobe. I want you to take off um, your top and your bottoms. Um, and then you can um, lay up on the bed and put the blanket over you. And... Um, uh, I, we did provide a rope as well, so just make sure to tie that around you, and um, and um, we'll do a we'll do an exam like that. Um, and I am not going to be using a um, any devices or speculums or anything like that today, so um, you don't have to worry about that. We're just going to do a really basic pelvic exam, and um, and I'll just kind of um, go over it with you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave the room for a second, and then I'm going to come back, and you're going to be. or anything like that. Yeah, you'll feel them, definitely. You'll know the difference between, like, you know, fat and, um... Okay. Let me try the other side. Okay, perfect. So you can do that. I would recommend doing that a couple times a week, just to make sure that you're okay. Okay, and now we're gonna just move on down, and I'm gonna perform the um, pelvic exam. Okay. 
chain as I go around, okay? Comfortable? Okay. You're just gonna feel a little bit of pressure, but it's gonna be okay. Alright. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay. Okay, my dear, so you are all ready to check out. If you wanna go ahead and, um, uh, get dressed again, and, uh, I'll have everything ready for you, and, um, you are good to go. Everything looks great. I'll write you up a prescription for, uh, birth control, low estrogen, okay? And uh, I'll meet you out in the, in the hallway, okay? Okay, great. Thanks so much. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit.